You're all trash, and I hate you from the bottom of my heart. Especially you, Midoriya. Useless ass. Guys, what the fuck? Midoriya, what the fuck? I love you guys so much, but I will never tell it to your face. Especially you, Midoriya. Midoriya, like, why do we even try? You're gonna do what you want, right? You're gonna do what you want? I, I give up. I give up. You do you, boo. I'll just be here giving you advice that you don't listen to. It's cool. It's cool. Okay, I know you guys have just been through an incredibly traumatic experience that is probably Midoriya's fault. Oh, uh, what? But you're going to have to get over that shit because we're going to put on a very public school event to prove UA isn't full of little bitch babies. Um, excuse me, I have a question. Um, wouldn't this be a bad idea because it'll put us out in the open and make us a big target for another traumatic experience with a villain? No, absolutely not. There is zero chance of that happening. And there is zero chance of that happening three to four times in a row. You have got to stop playing favorites. What? No, I didn't have a favorite student. That would be wrong. <laughs> The other day, Bakugo and Midoriya were fighting, and I heard you say, beat his ass, young Midoriya. The hell does that sound like to you? Hmm? I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, there's some students out breaking curfew and fighting. Oh, really? Let me guess. Let me fucking guess! It's, um... Bakugo and fucking Midoriya! The fuck do you want, Midoriya? Yeah, Mr. Aizawa, um, Ayama is leaving cryptic messages outside my room written with cheese. Hold up. Did you just say cheese? Um, yeah. I can't do this anymore. Hey, Aizawa? What? Um, is that... Vodka in your water bottle? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe go fuck yourself. Okay, okay, okay. Yo, Aizawa, you know some students came to rescue Bakugo, right? Who the fuck was it? Um, so Ida and Yayirozu, which is completely out of character, right? <laughs> Who else? Um, so also Kirishima and Todoroki, which makes a little more sense, right? <laughs> Who the fuck else? Oh, fuck. I'm fucking Midoriya! So for midterms, I'm going to partner Midoriya and Bakugo to fight you. <laughs> what? No! Why would you do that? <laughs> because I'm a messy bitch. Somebody please save us! Hey, motherfuckers! Nobody abuses my students except me. Yay, Mr. Aizawa! Daddy! <laughs> okay, everyone sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up. Midoriya Bakugo, you are the bane of my existence. Huh? Oh, my kids will beat your kids' ass. And that's on my life. Especially Midoriya and Bakugo, they will fuck your shit up. If you ever tell them I said that, you're gonna catch these hands and this scarf, you feel me? Hold up, why do we have to have a school festival again? Because your class has ruined the entire year for the rest of the school, and we have to give them something. Wait, there are other people in this school besides just us? <laughs> no, there aren't. Yes, there are, guys. No one that fucking matters. In case you were still wondering, this is why everyone hates you. So, we're letting them run their own agency on an island by themselves? Um, yeah. Why are we doing this? You really want to know? So I can get some goddamn peace and quiet. But they're just kids. Fuck them kids! <laughs> Dude, how are you still working here? Honestly, I have no fucking clue. I'm literally trying to get fired every day. I live in a sleeping bag. I have a mini bar under my desk. Sometimes I don't even teach. I just let Ida talk for 50 minutes while I smoke a blunt in the hallway. Am I not sending a strong enough message? What other dumb shit do I have to do? Do you ever wonder if there's more to life than just being really, really ridiculously good looking? Get the fuck out of my office. All right, everyone, sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up. It's time for class.
Or maybe you could go fuck yourself. The fuck did you just say to me? <laughs> Do you want to go right now, motherfucker? No! I don't know who you think you're talking to. I am not one of your little friends. Do I look like one of your little friends? No! Do I look like Midoriya to you? Do I look like Midoriya to you? <laughs> no, sir. That's what I thought, bitch ass. Okay, guys, what do we have to buy this year? More big ass robots for fighting. Well, the mini bar I may or may not keep under my desk is running dangerously low on vodka. Okay, okay, all good stuff. Um, I really think we need some mental health professionals on this campus. These kids are fighting terrorists every other month or so. Uh, yeah, that's why we need more big ass robots, obviously. I'd appreciate it if we don't ignore this vodka situation. Do y'all even care about these kids? Fuck them kids! Okay, so big ass robots and vodka for Aizawa. All right, good meeting. We'll do this again next year. Mr. Aizawa, we're so sorry you got hurt saving us again. It's whatever. I have no regrets. I'd do it again. Oh, you really love us, don't you? Get out. We kill you to say it just once? Yeah, it just might. All right, everyone, pencils down once you're finished with your test. What the fuck are you writing? Get out of my class. Okay, everyone, this is Aerie. Hi. Oh my god, she is so precious. Shut up. Listen, I've only known her a short time, but I already love her more than any of you. And if anything were to happen to her, I would kill all of you. And then probably myself. Do I make myself clear? Come on, man. You don't really hate those kids. Yes, I absolutely do. With every fiber of my being. Okay, if you say so. Oh my god, the dorms are getting attacked. Oh shit, where are these kids? <laughs> I'm kidding. I got you. <laughs> Fuck you. Hey, Vlad, how's the B squad? Man, shut the fuck up. It must be so relaxing to be mediocre. Why don't you go fuck yourself? Yeah, you have a nice day, too. <laughs> so for finals, Nezu, you will be fighting Kaminari and Ashiro. Is that even a fair match? Because, like, I'm a genius. And Kaminari is like... Kaminari. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's gonna be great. <laughs> I'm so messy. Hey, we gotta go pick up these kids. First of all, fuck them kids. And second of all, we ain't gotta do shit. I finally got my peace and quiet. Whatever's going on out there, they can handle it. Yeah, no. The entire island is on lockdown. Their only source of electricity is Kaminari. Also, um, two students are seriously injured. Which ones are injured? Okay, uh, please don't get mad. Which fucking ones? <sighs> Fuck. It's Bakugo and Midoriya. Bakugo and fucking Midoriya! Y'all stay here while I fight these villains. Okay, thank you, Mr. Aizawa. I cannot let these fucking kids die. Because then I'd have to go to their fucking funeral and admit that I love them. Also, the amount of paperwork I'd have to do is horrendous. Ugh, <sighs> hey. We gotta go pick up these fucking kids. Yeah, sorry. Vacation's over. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, what? They've only been there a few days. Yeah, and they've already shit the bed. In ways that only Class 1A can. I truly hope they survive this, so I can beat the shit out of them. Oh my god. Is it really that bad? Um, yeah. Come on, we gotta hurry. They're currently using Kaminari as a battery. Also, I would get ready to do some serious healing if I were you. Because two students are seriously injured. Oh, really? Which two are injured? Ha! <laughs> Who the fuck do you think? <sighs> Please have mercy. <laughs> know what? High key. I'm so fucking sick and tired of all y'all. <gasps> all of us? Yes, all of you. Why is it that every time you get in trouble... I gotta risk my fucking life. Why can't I catch you doing some normal teenage shit for once? Like making out in the janitor's closet. And yes, I'm talking to you two. Huh? What? 
I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, shut the fuck up. It is so obvious. Everyone knows. Just fucking get together already. Um, yes, Mr. Aizawa. That's exactly what I've been saying. I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. Mr. Aizawa! Todoroki's watching his dad fight on TV. I think he's having a silent meltdown. Look at him! Uh, what do we do? I don't know. What? You don't know? I've never prepared for this scenario. Todoroki's the one student I thought I could count on to never lose his shit. I expect bullshit like this from you. What? Okay, um, Yayorozu, make a shock blanket. Okay? Midoriya, um, can you hold his hand or something? Y'all are close, right? Um, okay. And Saro, tape Bakugo's mouth shut so he doesn't say anything stupid to trigger Todoroki. What? Um, okay. Don't you fucking touch me! Sorry, dude! <laughs> hey, Eraser? Class 1B is already at the campsite. Where are y'all? Uh, there ain't no y'all. I dropped those motherfuckers off in the forest. They finna walk to camp. What? Aizawa, that's insane. I beg to differ. It's never too early to learn some survival skills. Where the fuck are you? Oh, I went down to Applebee's down the road. It's happy hour, and I got half price apps. Dude, you can't just abandon them like that. They're only 15. And that sort of thinking is why Class 1B is a bunch of bitches. And my kids are gangsters. I'll see you bitches later. Oh my god. Woo! I need to call an Uber. Hey, All Might. Are those dumbasses ready for their concert? Oh yeah. I think they're gonna do great. Midoriya just stepped into town to get some rope. I just gave him a pass. He'll be back soon. You sent who? Um, Midoriya? I sent Midoriya. <laughs> you sent the most accident-prone motherfucker into town by himself an hour before the show. And you really think that was a good idea? What's the big deal? He just going to the corner store. <laughs> yeah, he also just figured out that he has legs and has only been at the center of every fucking disaster this school has had all year. I mean, I'm just saying, if someone could find a way to get into some bullshit outside a corner store, it would be his ass. But no, you're right. I'm sure everything will be fine. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. So, yeah. We're moving the kids into dorms. We totally get it if you feel uncomfortable. I'm sure that after Bakugo was kidnapped, you'd like him to stay close to home. Uh, no, that's fine. You can take him. Um, you sure about that? Because we really don't mind leaving him here. Um, no. I think he's doing just fine. Away from here. I think he's in good hands. Good hands? I'm the one who let him get kidnapped. I'm just saying, maybe it'd be better if I didn't have to deal with him. Yeah, he does have a- I don't think you hear me. Please take him. Because I just have so much faith in UA to take him off my hand. I mean, take him to new heights. You have my blessing. Fuck. Yeah, we almost got away with it. <laughs> have fun with that little demon. Oh my god! Eraser! Your kids are gangster as fuck! What are you teaching these kids? What's your secret? <laughs> um, it's really very simple. Trauma. The secret is trauma. Trauma all the live long day. They need to truly believe that every day could be their last. Keep that fight or flight response going at all times. Every once in a while, threaten to expel them for something dumb. And then sometimes, actually fucking do it. Just to remind them that you can. Constant traumatization is the key. The USJ attack was just a plus. I couldn't have planned that any better myself. That shit really fucked them up. And it's really unfortunate. I doubt anything like that will ever happen again. As you can see, clearly Class 1B has never had to fight for their lives. And they are, quite frankly, performing like bitch babies. But since all of my kids have mild PTSD, every competition, in their heads, is life or death. And so they will never fail. Okay, you fucking gremlins. It's time for... Oh God. Sex ed. <laughs> yeah! I've been waiting for this one! Fuck yeah, bro! Ah! Shut the fuck up! Now, if you can't tell, I don't want to do this. So Midnight is going to teach this one. Have fun. Hey, guys. Welcome to the most important class of your life. <sighs> oh, my God. Oh, this going to be lit. Who can tell me the most important rule of intercourse? Ooh, 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 ooh. Real men get consent. 
Very good. Also, foreplay is key. Uh, um, sir, is this the best idea? Probably not, <laughs> but it is the funniest. Now I need a volunteer. Please, no. Midoriya! Please come up to the board and point out the seven erogenous zones. <laughs> one, two. Don't forget that one down there. How do you know about this? Don't worry about it. Ooh, Midoriya knows his stuff. Oyama, I swear to God. Oh, Midoriya passed out. <laughs> okay, dummies. Same type of shit as usual. It's a mock rescue mission. All you have to do is get in and get out. Any questions? Yes, sir. Um, no. All right, get out of my face. I'm starting the clock. All right, let's go, guys. We got this in the bag. Every fucking time. These dumb motherfuckers think it's gonna be that easy. Look, whatever you do, please don't make it too dangerous. I'm trying to get off work early today. <laughs> I'm gonna knock a building on top of them. Fuck. <laughs> oh my fucking god! What is going on? Oh no, an unforeseen turn of events. Because that doesn't happen in the real world. Are you fucking insane? You're gonna get us killed! I do this every Wednesday, and they're still surprised. Look, if you can't handle me trying to kill you every few days, then I don't know how you're gonna be a pro hero. Y'all are fucking stupid. He literally does this every Wednesday. Look, guys, if you say something motivational, I'm gonna punch you in your fucking mouth. <laughs> every time. What in the Sam Hill? Oh, hey, Eraser. Nice of you to drop by my class. <laughs> is that what this is? You actually think you're teaching? Yeah. Nice work, young Midoriya. Oh, thanks, All Might. Shut up, teacher's pet. You know what you're always good at? Being a body bag. <laughs> you leave my boy, I mean, young Midoriya, alone. You do realize there are 19 other kids in this class besides your precious broccoli boy. And they're all fucking stupid. You have to actually fucking supervise them, not just stand around posing in spandex. W what? <laughs> what the fuck? Sir! <gasps> Someone fell off the rock climbing wall. Ugh. Don't tell me it was... Yeah. It's Kaminari. Again. Are you serious, man? You left Kaminari's dumbass unsupervised? Uh, uh, I, uh, uh, Oh my god, somebody help me! Everything's going dark! My neck! My back! My neck and my back! Ah! I'll handle it. <laughs> okay, uh, oh! Hi, Mr. Aizawa! Oh, hello. Failure. What? Uh, where the fuck is Ari? Thought you were taking her to get some ramen. Oh, I am. I just had to run and get my wallet. So I just left her with Kachan right quick. You fucking what? I left her with Kachan. Oh no, I left her with Kachan. You fucking idiot! What's going on over here? What? Hi, Mr. Aizawa. Ah! What the shit? What the hell are you doing with this? Teaching her to blow shit up. It's what I do for fun. Never too early to learn. God damn it. Come here, Aerie. How many times do I have to tell you that I don't give a fuck about y'all's lives? All my fucks to give are for her, and they are very few. But I will gladly use one to wipe any of you off the face of this earth if anything happens to her. What are fucks? Ah, oh, shit. Nothing. Come on, baby, let's go. Don't say that word. Why is it loud in here? Ah! It hurts! Are you sure you know what you're doing? Of course I know what I'm doing! Shut up! Before she hears you. Oh, wow. If it isn't Goku and Gohan. Be quiet, Eraser! Midoriya broke his leg, and I'm trying to fix it! Before she finds out. Maybe that's for the best. Why don't you just get Recovery Girl? Easy for you to say! Because if she finds you broken... Again... She will kill me! <laughs> oh, I see. Fuckery abounds. I got this under control! Okay, how does it go? Ah! 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 Staying alive! Staying alive! Ah! Uh, uh, you fucking idiot! He has a broken leg. He's not going into cardiac arrest. <laughs> Just let me handle this! And if you see Recovery Girl, please don't tell her. Sure. Of course not. Okay, thank you. Okay. Hey, Aizawa. Hey, Midoriya broke his leg. All Might's in there trying to fix it. Before you find out. Oh! Okay, thank you. You're welcome.